Yeah! Milk at home. Hey, Lady Red. <laughs> She's looking gorgeous. And Miss Heidi's looking gorgeous. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Look at Her, the Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, and spills a little tea, Ooh. or throws a little <laughs> shade, if she has to. You'd think after eight seasons, I'd know how to open the fan, but I don't. <laughs> or just tells us something that we don't know. Today, our super celebrity guest is the one and only Miss Congeniality of season 12, Heidi in Closet! Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Heidi Queen, thank you for being here. We're having so much fun with you today. So much fun. Thank you for having me, and I'm so ready to look at all. I know. <laughs> when you and I talked on Instagram Live a while back, you were like, are we going to do Look It Up? I was ready, and you said, no. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, we have to save it for right of this God. moment. I'm so happy we waited. Yes. Uh, Lady Red, are we having fun today or what? We are having so much fun. I am so grateful to be with only one of the four people that I followed from season 12. Oh, oh, the mystery is, who else does Lady Red follow? I don't, I don't. I'm going to go Google it right there. <laughs> okay, Heidi, let's get into it. We are going to start the game. You know how to play this game, don't you? Oh, very well. Yeah. <laughs> so, all you got to do is look and spill. Yes. All right, let us begin. Look at her. Yeah. Widow Von Du. Can I just say one thing, Heidi? Put your long nails up and repeat, repeat after, after me. me. Be, she might be. Yes. She might be, yes. yes. Oh my God, that is, uh, that is Widow Von Do It. I uh, love, love, love her. Like I said earlier, she was probably the first queen that I was like, bonded with from the show. Um, she was very, very helpful to me as well. Um, uh, especially like after I had the big blow up about my makeup or whatever. She's like, girl, I too have struggled with my makeup, so don't, don't, don't let them get to you or whatever. And this, that, and third, she was very support system. But fun story is that um, during the sewing challenge, y'all didn't get to see it, but I, the garment I sewed, the little one that was green with all the purple balls all over it, I couldn't get the the, the down here area just right because I had so I had to put on my body, put the outfit on, and get the hot glue, the leg parts around, and I couldn't get in between the legs. So Widow Von Du oh, <laughs> had to be a good Judy sister to me, got the hot glue gun. She went up, around, in, down, all the crevices. It got warm real fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, thanks to her, my garment was not falling apart in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> now, Widow turned it out so fiercely in so many parts of the competition, but right at the end, it really seemed like the pressure was getting to her. What didn't we see on camera, and what was she going through? I think it was the, the constant frustration with She's coming from where she's coming from, Kansas City, and where she's like the top bitch. And coming into the competition, we're all like equalized. And I feel like she may have been like, she's, she killed a lot of the challenges. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, um, not that she was being overlooked, just that she was so used to being constantly praised for being the top bitch and then seeing other queens getting constantly, constantly praised because there were some girls that were always in the top, always in the top. And I feel like that really got to her and um, it really was her undoing in the competition, which it was really hard for me to see because I really, in the, in the beginning of the season, I foresaw her in that top four. Yeah, super talented, regardless so talented. of how she plays. Okay, she turned it out either way. Yes, okay, look at her. Oh, yes. Gigi Good, Miss Good. Oh my goodness. I actually, people actually think I hate Gigi just because of our blow up on the show, but surprise, surprise, there's this thing called being an adult uh -huh. where you can disagree with someone and not hate them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really uh, uh, love her. I was actually talking to her before we uh, filmed today. Um, hopefully we'll be meeting for lunch later. Um, but I love her. Um, she, me and her, we had our blow up on the show, whatever. Um, it wasn't like, that was about makeup. Jeez. About makeup. It wasn't nothing serious. Let's be honest. Um, and it was, I was not mad at what, it wasn't what she was saying, it was how she was saying it. Like, she, it came out, like, some of the facts that were being said were not all true. So that's the part I was like, no, girl, let me. And I was already, like, not in the best mood, honey. So I was, like, trying to get it together. But honestly, she 
has been a really good friend to me. She's been, she's amazing. She's, I forget she's 21. Well, 22 now. She's 22 now. I forget she's that young because she carries herself with such a level of like an air about her that she's like older and the wiser and stuff. And sh I've learned many things from her. Uh, she's, she helped me style wigs while we were on the show, this, that, and the third. She's, she's actually very, very nice and sweet. And um, she's a force, baby. She is truly a force. And she's got a really bright future ahead of her. Um, Fun story is um, this man, um, it was me, her, and Jada, actually. We were all here in L.A. at um, Kitchen 24. We were getting our little uh, sips on and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And this man, he stopped by, and he was telling us how he knew Madonna. And we were all sitting there lying and <laughs> saying, we're about to go see her. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, but yeah, oh, my God. Love, love, love Gigi. Gigi took a little bit of heat right before the finale for doing a video with Jeffree Star. Yeah. Now, what were your thoughts about that? I see what had happened was um, I don't think it was. Mm, mm, well, he has a complicated past. Mm -hmm. um, I do think people should be able to learn and grow from mistakes in the past, but he does have a complicated past, and especially with everything that was going on in time, I just wish. She had, it had been able to have been pushed back a little bit because with the timing and stuff, I think that was probably what made it the worst. That um, with his complicated past and the launch time was probably the what was the straw that broke the camel's back. Really, right. like it, I think that's what did it. I don't think it was the fact that they worked together. I think it was the timing. Mm -hmm. But Gigi did make a commitment publicly to be more politically aware. She after did. That. She did. And you can see from her social media and when she's, she's doing. And you can you can see the turn in it and. Because I, I, I literally click on my sister's pages daily to see what they're up to and whatnot. Because I love them. I love them all. And she definitely has been steering it and really pushing it. So I'm proud of her. That's good. That's what, that's what queens have to do, learn and grow. Exactly. And we, we have to be allowed that time to learn and grow. Remember, she is still very young. Right. So you have to give people that time to grow. People can make mistakes, y'all. Just give them that time to, to, to fix it, to grow from it. Period. Well said. Look at her, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, honey. Now, this, speaking of uh, some heat, your first episode, it's Nicki Minaj in the house. She gives you some critique on your makeup, and oh. honey, you wanted to know the details. <laughs> I mean, I did need to know. I wanted to know. Uh, <laughs> no, um, first thing first, I, I still love Nicki. Um, she's, she's, she's. She does what she do. She's top of the game and all these things. And um, people always ask, do you still hate Nikki? Just like people ask me, do I still hate Gigi? Do you still hate right. Nikki? I never hated her either. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> like she, her comment, she didn't elaborate what, like, for, I come from the pageant background, whereas they give you critiques, and then afterwards, they're like, okay, they break the critique down. Mm. And, you know, being like, your hair and makeup, I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup. Okay, well, what can I do to fix these things? What? That's my mentality when it comes to critiques. Like, okay, I hear the critique. Now, can you give me some constructive criticism to how I can fix it? And um, that's why I asked her when she got back there. I was like, she was like, does anyone have any questions? I was like, yeah. What about it? What, what are, now, I was now, mind you, I probably could have been nicer about it, but <laughs> <laughs> but you have to realize um, it's a pressure cooker. I had only one hour sleep after uh, the allergic reaction that day. That day was not a good day for right. me. So I was already like very cranky and very irritable, and um, just uh, literally like nervous that I'm about to go home because I had got read the house down, and you know. I could have asked nicer, but it came out how it came out. It made good TV. Yes, it did. <laughs> it's and she was... And you know what? I love her. She, she's doing her thing with everything. I think she's, is she, start, is she starting a family, isn't it? Or something yeah, like she that? got married. She got married. Yeah. I don't know so if she's trying to for not, her. But, Keep yeah. it up, girl. Go, go off, sis. Go and off. And she was pretty sweet to you. And she was very sweet. She said that I was a lovely entertainer and how amazing I did. And then once she found out that I had been to the hospital the night before, she's like, well, for her to come out there and do that, Oh, for coming out of the hospital, she is a star. So, yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate I appreciate it because th that critique allowed me an opportunity to grow, and that's what I'm all about is growing. Yes. All right. Look at her. You defended her honor in Untucked. Yes. She was criticized for having too many pussycat wigs. Yes, she was. Um, 
the nap her around the world. And she took a nap. God, oh my God. <laughs> Girl, oh my goodness. I love Aiden. Oh my goodness. She's so kooky. Is she so dumb? I love her. Like literally, I, I like to say we have a, a moment of like where she always yells at me when I see her. Like literally, okay, so we were going to film the, the promos and we had to, I had to fly down to Atlanta to fly up to New York. Makes no sense. But <laughs> I did. And I ran into her because we were on the same flight. And then um, I was like, I got my phone. I was like, oh my God, look, who's that? Is she a star? And she's like, if you don't get that camera out my face, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. She is so, <laughs> she has the nastiest mouth, but I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> she is so funny. Um, I wish her personality had been able to be shown more on the season because she is, she's really kooky. I love it. Yeah. She had got a lot of, Hard critiques, About that not only from week, the judges, yeah. but also from the <laughs> girls and the taking the nap. What are the things about her personality that we didn't get to see that you really saw in the workroom? That she, she is, she is quiet. She is quiet. She, you saw that. She is quiet. But she, she has these moments of like the most clarity and like <laughs> all inspiring moments. Like literally, where she got her phrase of "I'm Aiden Zane and I have one thing to say." It literally stemmed from, we would all be just be gabbing like hands. And then she would just drop in with one line and it'd be like, Whoa. Hello, children! Click here!